uh, we made it on Monday mm. with a, uh, where we collaborated with Kit Kiari and her adorable children. and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, kindly do consider joining our family by hitting the red subscribe button down below. If you already are part of our family, Karibu Sana! So today we are going to be making pillow miller. We have actually made this before. Uh, we made it on Monday mm -hmm. with a, where we collaborated with Kit Kiari and how adorable children but what i wanted to do was to go ahead and and do re, redo the recipe for you guys so you're able to see exactly how it is that we did it now i need to caution you in the in the video that i made with um kids carrie Car and her family we did half of this recipe we are doubling the recipe because yeah this thing tastes too good so you want to double the recipe you want to save yourself the time and double the recipe okay so we have just doubled the recipe because also we want to give them as gifts um to some of our loved ones yeah so yeah so yeah just just something for you to note um when you see the clips with with kit Kerry, just know that this is the double of that recipe um we are so excited we are so excited they are just wonderful and we are so honored to have done a collab with them um kindly if you follow us and you are not following kit Kerry, please please go and follow her she's amazing she is amazing and her kids are just adorable so yeah anyway let's get started with the recipe so you will need 500 grams of flour all-purpose flour 250 grams of sugar one one deciliter of um of fat cream right full fat cream yeah full fat cream mm -hmm. uh one a teaspoon of all the spices one teaspoon teaspoon of white pepper one teaspoon of cardamom one teaspoon of uh, ginger ground ginger and one teaspoon of cinnamon so yeah and you'll need one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and 250 grams of butter room temperature butter yeah good job thank you good job okay great so you'll start by dumping the butter into your bowl and the sugar once you've got everything out and the sugar and then you take an electric whisk and just mix it. So while he mixes that, Sadie and I are going to go ahead and sift the dry ingredients. So that's the flour, our spices, and our uh, rising agents here, the baking soda and baking uh, and baking uh, uh, baking powder. So we're just going to go ahead and sieve them in here while Christian beats the butter and the sugar. Yeah. Yes. fat cream and now we're just gonna mix it again. Mix it all together. So you just want to make sure that you don't have a lot of stuff left on the on the beaters. So great. So we're done with this. So what's the next step, Christian? It is to add all the dry ingredients over in the wet. Do you need help? I think I got it. Great job. Oh, there's a little bit right here. Yes. Do you want to take those? That? My hands are wet. Rachel, here. And what are you gonna do now? We're gonna mix it. 
you're going to pull up your sleeves and get ready to get dirty. And if you have any rings, please take them off. Yes. Unless you want a surprise when you're eating them. <laughs> So if you're doing this with your kids, you want to make sure that you, you know, take over when it's almost done. Just to make sure that you have, that you need it properly and incorporated everything into the dough. It's actually very, very easy to make. It's a nice dough to work with. As you can see, there's not so much mess that you're left with. When you have a clean bowl, when you're able to lift everything off, like that, and you have a people, you're done. Mm -hmm. So, what's the next step? You take a little part of the dough and get rolling. Yes, get a little piece of it, and we get rolling. Rolling, and yes. how are we rolling them? Into sausages. This is something that looks like a sausage, a long sausage, and what? What? What's the size that it should be, Christian? Do you, do you, do you remember? The thickness. Yeah, the thickness of it. Yes. Around the thickness of your little finger. Great job. It's not there yet, but I have a small little finger. You have a small little finger. <laughs> I have a little, little, little. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see this. This is what you want. Let me just bring you closer. So this is the thickness that you're looking for. There you go. Mine is almost there. Yeah, yours is almost there. But you, you're, you, it's easier for you because you have bigger hands. Yeah, it is easier. So you can get everywhere at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So while they do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. And you just want like maybe two centimeters uh, thickness okay. there's really no there's really no formula to this to be quite honest um, the more you do it the better you get at it and if you you want about this size about that size and if you so if you roll and you see that it's small you just kind of take a little bit piece and add onto it. So there's really no formula. formula or hard fast rule on how they should be. Sometimes as you handle it, you kind of feel the difference. You can feel the difference when you start touching them. Um, next, you just want to roll them into s small balls like this. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. Um, and just before that, so I like to I like to make things easy, my work very easy. So I like to roll while I place on the baking tray. I like to make sure that I have about 10 um, just for easy math. So I'm able to 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 know how many I have at the end of the at the end of the that was a bit big. The first time I made I made this, I weighed these ones. I weighed all of them. They were at exactly the same. You remember? Do you remember the old yeah, uh, the, yeah. the old apartment? Mm -hmm. and put it yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we made it for all the neighbors. Yeah, we made we, some for our neighbors them. and we weighed them. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, we're not smashing them. We are make, just putting a small thumb. So. I'll just show you what we're going to do, but then we, I'm, I'm first placing the balls here. Then I'll come two, four, six, seven, eight. That's a small one. Mama. Okay. You didn't mix this too. Come to me. I can do that. You need to give them 
um, good space in between them because they're going to expand. Remember, we do have baking soda and baking powder. So you kind of want to give them a good space. So I should have 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm trying to speed them all one in there. I'm trying to create space for them. For another one. I've got another one here. No, me too. Just try to put it there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, I'll just bring you closer. So what you want to do is to kind of just gently press on them with your thumb, just like that. And just give them a bit more space here. I don't know if you're making big ones or if my spacing, it's important to get the first row correct because when you do it just becomes very easy for you to place the others so you just place you them just underneath. yeah you just place them underneath so you're just making rows now you don't have to be this mathematical about it this is just me <laughs> degrees and you're going to bake them for seven to nine minutes um it depends on the oven ovens are a bit different um some you'll put them in and they're done at seven minutes others you might even need to go over the nine minutes where you, so you bake for about 10 or 12 minutes but check from the seven minute mark just check okay you want them to be um, um a bit dark brown I'll show you the color you want them to be. Okay, good. So they're going into the oven and from the seven minute mark, I'm going to be watching them. And if I just mention that I placed them in the middle, in the middle of my oven. So I didn't, uh, not, not, in, not at the top and not at the bottom, in the middle of the oven. That's where you want them to be. vanilla or ginger ginger uh, biscuits out of the oven as you can see this is the color you want to go for right here um, I think I have I have 70 on this pan I'm not sure if you're going to get 70 out there uh, out of this pan but yeah ours are a bit big uh, but that's how we like it we like them a bit yeah big If you get some that are joined like these, like this here, you just, with your butter knife, just go in and slowly separate them. You want to do that when they're still warm. Just to avoid the crumb. Can I try? Mm-hmm. So when your ginger biscuits or pernula 
are cool i put them out because it's winter here so it's very very cold outside i just put them out for five minutes and they're completely cool now so you can put them in jars like these adorable jars like these but traditionally we put them in this i think we made this this was uh, um something that we did for day two of our vlogmas this year we showed you how to make this basket and that this is where you put these and then you hang them on the tree fill them up like that every child has theirs hang them up on the tree then the kids just eat them during the day um, if you can also give them as a gift to someone thank you so much for watching this video as always kindly kindly um, share this video with your family and friends um, be sure to take a screenshot of this video share it on all your social media platforms and remember to tag us on Instagram I am Empress Shiro on Instagram and we are the startup homeschoolers also on Instagram you can just go in and tag us and when you've done that you're gonna be in the draw to win something that we're giving away to two of our subscribers um, by the end by Christmas Day which is the 24th of December here so thank you so much for watching we're so we're so glad that you guys are watching thank you for the engagement that you're giving us on Instagram on, on YouTube thank you thank you thank you thank you we really really appreciate thank you for the new subscribers hello and welcome thank you thank you for subscribing to our channel we are so stoked that you're part of our journey that you're part of our family thank you thank you thank you um if you do make these um ginger biscuits kindly let us know how you think it went if it's an easy recipe um tell us if your kids like them right mm -hmm. um yeah kindly subscribe if you haven't and uh we'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm. until then Quarry. Quarry.